welcome back to another video. Today, I'm bringing you a tutorial, and I know I haven't uploaded in what is almost two weeks now, but I've just been, uh, I've been on vacation, and I got back, and I thought I should make a video, but this is not a normal video that you, just, you, you would expect from me, but it's a uh, tutorial on how to use Cinema 4D for Minecraft purposes. Uh, now, so let's, let's just get started. So, first thing you want to do is put in your rig. Now, rigs are 3D models that you can animate, usually made by other people for the for use of others, but there are some people that make their own and then share them or just keep them for themselves. Now, one of the best rig makers is Weed Lion, but, you know, it's uh, up to preference. Now, I'm using Weed Lion's paid rig, which means I paid for it, but there are rigs that are free, so uh, I'm going to link a couple of rigs in the description of course Steve Riggs and uh, you can you can check them out and decide if you uh, like any of them but I'm gonna be using with we Lance paid rig uh, so I know it looks a bit weird but I don't know why that's a glitch but when you render it it looks uh, the rig the rig looks good so I'm I'm gonna be Adam uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to use cinema 4d to do this so the first thing you should probably know about cinema 4d is uh, the three buttons it has so Render is the uh, the first render button is that it re it renders what you see right now just the picture. So if I click it, it will render um just what I see. If I click this, it will export what I see. But to know where to export it, you need to click this button. And these are the output and export settings, render settings, really. So I like to set this on HD, w whichever kind you know, the more the better. But I like mine uh, 1280 by 720. Um, now this is important if you're animating, if you're not just um, exporting one picture, you need to turn this to all frames, but I'm gonna be exporting one picture, so I'm gonna put it on current frame. Now then you gotta save. Um, you save it to whichever place you want, I'm gonna put that in later, and the format is should be um, if you're if there's gonna be no background, it should be PNG. If there's gonna be background, there it should be J, J JPEG. And uh, if it's gonna be a movie, I would export it as a QuickTime movie because it has the best uh, for uh, format. But I'm I'm not gonna export an animation, so I'm just gonna export in PNG. Now, if there's no background, it's very important to to check this setting alpha. Ch alpha channel which basically means uh, alpha is everything that is transparent or invisible because otherwise if I didn't check this the everything invisible or transparent would be black with alpha it's actually transparent how it should look um, now I'm not gonna be telling you all the render settings uh, for uh, uh, f so it exports quickly because uh, that's uh, that's a whole other video but I will show you what I do to make my uh, uh, to make my picture look better, I go to the effects and I click ambient occlusion and global illumination. Now there is one thing with this specific specific weed line rig. If you enable a second layer on it, uh, you need to go to ambient occlusion. But there's no second layer, so I'll just leave that. You know, if you're using that rig, just if there's any problems, let leave it in the comments down below, and I'll answer you in detail. Um, so I ch I use these two effects, um, and if you use these effects, you need to add a light source. My favorite, personally, is infinite light because it makes the lighting complete, whilst others whilst others just like cover one part of the area. This one is is like, basically like the sun, even though there is a sun light, there is a sun option. Um, I prefer to use infinite light because sun doesn't look that good. So you use the first light and then you click the R button or this up here. So R button on Mac and PCs, uh, click it and then you will get, um, or either uh, go to up here and then you have, uh, then this pops up when you are on your light. And uh, this lets you rotate it in every direction. I'm just gonna uh, turn it so it's uh, more on this side, but it also so it's more on this side, but it also covers this side. And now, if I render it, it's gonna look a bit better. But the see, like the detail is a bit better if I zoom in a bit. Uh, and the buttons for zooming and moving the picture are this is for going up, down, left, right. 
Uh, I'm I'm up here, guys. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, this one is for zooming in and out, and this one is for rotating. So I can rotate all around him. So if we zoom in again, and uh, now we render it. Uh, it uh, I'm on my Mac, so it takes a bit of time, uh, and that it looks way better than it did before. But these effects you can go without if you're uh, just exporting the person. If you're exporting a whole picture with a world, then you should probably uh, use these because it will look much better. But of course, it will if you're animating, it will take a lot longer for that to render than just without any special settings and effects. Now. Um, if you want to import a world, I'm going to make a very sp um, specific video just for that uh, in, in the next few days. But if you, wa uh, if you want to know, there's going to be in the description, it's going to be the link to the software that lets you export, import the world, Minecraft worlds into Cinema 4D. It's called Mineways. So just uh, scroll down in the description, look up some tutorials if you are in a hurry to, to do that and can't wait a couple of days. Um, so now it's basically just our turn to position the character. Now um, positioning is specific to every rig and to every rigger. So uh, somebody might have these type of controls, the other might have different controls. But all of you should remember that it's never. If you want to move an arm, you don't click on the arm and you move it around. So you don't do that in this rig. You can't even do that. So that's interesting. Um, you you don't do that, but you click on. Uh, a specific place usually if you click um, uh, most good rigs have up here on the on where it says the rig name on the side they have this little person tag you click it and you then you get this kind of a picture and uh, where and if you click if I let's say I click this and then wait I messed up uh, if I click this uh, the arm you see doesn't move right you know doesn't look good but if I click this one, uh, you can do this and then this and this, and you're good. You can move the you can move the hand around however you want, and uh, the same goes with all the limbs and parts of the body. Uh, so if you wanna turn the head up and, uh, and like this, so it's looking at so he's looking at us. And raise the other hand, um, and also to toggle between uh, rotate, move, and uh, scale, you go up here. Uh, so this is move uh, or E on the keyboard. Uh, this is scale the, or T on the keyboard, and this is rotate or R on the keyboard. Um, but I, I like to use hotkeys, but because they're really simple. But you can also use those buttons uh, until you get comfortable with it. Now let's say I'm making this for a thumbnail. I want to position him in a good pose. So let's say he is proud for uh, for doing something. Uh, so he's uh, it's uh, it's not it. It usually takes a couple of tries to position him exactly how you want it. But you know, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's much easier. So um, now I click rotate. Uh, see, like then there's some things that like the body. If you pull it up, it just looks weird. He, it, lo it looks lo looks like he's going crazy. And by the way, to go back a move or two, you just click this here or c control. Uh, Z on PC and Command Z on Mac. So I, I want to go back to his previous pose, and then you, I uh, for so it's better if you click rotate and then rotate him back. Now he looks like he's proud. Um, we're gonna have him stare a bit up higher because he's proud. And I'm gonna add an object. Now this this I don't usually do, but for this thing for this occasion I'm gonna do it. I like uh, if you want him to stand on something actually not just like an emptiness, you can go up here and click uh, cube or any other object, but cube is probably the easiest. And um, it's a bit big at the start so you just wanna shrink it down so it kinda looks good and uh, you position it under his leg. Now, if you uh, there's there's a trick. I don't know if everybody uses it, but um, basically, if you want to keep at this camera frame, but you're afraid that when you move, you're gonna lose this position that you really like, you just go uh, here and click camera. You hold this down and click camera, and then this pops up, and then you can move around wherever you want. And uh, when you want to go back, just click 
it's uh, hardly visible, I'm gonna zoom in this thing right here, and uh, you click it and it goes back to the exact same position. Just don't move when you're locked into the camera because then you will lose the position. So uh, let's see. Um, let's shorten this a bit. T make it smaller. Okay, and so this is not perfect because I'm I'm not gonna pay that much attention to it. Let's uh, put this foot foot a bit. Let's bend a bit, okay. And uh, now I'm I'm picture him like in triumph. So I probably want to put this right hand up higher and put a sword in it. Now there is multiple ways to put a sword in a rig. Um, there's there's a way where you have a weapons rig and you put it on him actually but there are rigs like this one that have the option of just adding in a sword automatically now this is quite interesting so that's why weed line rig the weed line rig is one of the best and quite cheap for you know the the the, pri the price is quite uh, quite good uh, so what you want to do is go to the um, to tools if you're using the weed line rig and then check uh, sword and right hand and to, to change the material of the sword, you click on the sword, and then you have this. Now, it's not very clear which color it is, but when you render it, it looks good. So, I think this one is either diamond or gold. Let's see. Let it render. It takes a bit, because I'm on a worse computer. This one's diamond. Okay. So, and look, look this lo already looks very good. So, uh, but now, um, I'm going to position the sword a bit up, a bit higher. Uh, and you know this rig the only thing I would change is the arms. They are a bit weird to use uh, like, See that like I don't know why it doesn't go higher. That's a bit annoying because I've seen rigs rigs do better than that so uh, That's the only reason um, And then this hand in this hand let's just play around a bit. He's gonna have um, He is going to have um, let's see um, Let's put uh, uh, a shovel in his left hand like he just dug up something and you have a whole lot of other accessories that are exclusive to the weed line rig but I'm just gonna show you for example so I'm gonna put on sunglasses and a cape because why not and uh, capes are kind of cape a cape is a kind of a cool thing to have but you can you can just add in uh, something else if you want and uh, there's another exclusive this really exclusive feature and that is putting armor uh, on him and you have any uh, color of armor and you can put a helmet on him I'm actually gonna put some boots on him and a chest plate because why not so uh, boots I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make them let's just make them green because why not let's make green boots and uh, the chest plate, I'm gonna make it dark blue because you know it's nobody says we need to do it the right way. And my mouse is okay, my mouse passed out a bit. Uh, so now we have this figure. You probably might want to zoom in, at, zoom out a bit just so you get a full view. But um, you, uh, there's also a thing where you can add materials. Now, adding materials, you go to this box down here and double click and you get a new material. Uh, now, if I want to put a material on this cube, now there are material packs, free and paid. I don't have any good ones, and I don't know them, but they there are material packs where you get different materials and you put them on your um, on on something in your uh, render. But you can also make your own materials. Of course, they're not going to be as good, but you know they they pass the test. So you double click. That's uh, mostly to color something. Uh, specular is never good, so just get rid of specular. And then you have all these different things. You can play play around with them. It's uh, it's it's interesting to use. But I mostly like just one color, and then going on gradient. Uh, clicking the, te the texture part and going on gradient and uh, clicking on the gradient and uh, then picking two colors that are similar to each other so if this is a rock let's go with um, this and a, and a bit of a lighter gray okay and I like to put this on a V shape and uh, and then just uh, I, let's let's try to add something else. So fog. What will that do? Nothing. Uh, 
not really good with these, uh, but yeah, so just play around, see what you like, um, I would like to add some noise though, noise, um, and uh, let's go with, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, okay, now, you know what, just go back, go back and go, oh, crap, go back and go to gradient part, and I'm gonna put it on a nice, nice looking gradient, Let's get a bit of a darker gray and a lightish gray. Okay, and uh, put it on a V. And uh, now we have our texture. You can just close that. And you just click and drag all the way over to the block. And now it's colored. So if you render this now, let's, how, let's see how our person looks. I think it's good. he's going to look rather interesting. And uh, this is the final... Uh, this is the final result and you can be happy with that uh, But if you want a world behind them, there are rigs if you want more items there are rigs with items I'm gonna link the free rigs. I have in the description and uh, If you want a world I will be showing you how to put a world in here in the next tutorial um, that is gonna probably be in a couple of days uh, but if you wanna if you're too eager to wait for that there will be a link to the software in the description called manways manways it's free and look up some tutorials on how to do that uh, and I think that's it I hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like oh wait wait there's one more thing how to render it well uh, then you go over to um, your output to the save settings and set a file now I'm just gonna be right back when I set a file. It's very simple. Just you click this button so I um, So we're back and I saved it under um, my Under my thumbnails under test so it's very simple you it's a one-on-one -on -one thing if you don't know how to use this uh, then you probably don't you can follow my tutorial and uh, then all you have to do is click this button and uh, wait for it to render. If it's only one picture, it should probably take anywhere from 5 to 20 seconds. If it takes more, your computer probably isn't very good. Uh, and this is it. This is the picture. Um, so now, uh, yeah, I think I covered it all. Uh, check the links in the description and hope you all enjoyed if you did drop a like subscribe and remember my name is your spice adding the last bit of flavor to your day